Morning everyone. It's about 45 minutes before sunrise. And I'm heading down to the local beach to see if I can get a shot. Thanks for joining me. So as these bigger waves come in, that's the time to try and get the shot of the waves breaking in between the rocks. There's some nice colours up in the clouds. Morning everyone. So I've come down onto the uh, local beach this morning. This is the bit they call the dog beach. So that way is the town beach, which is the nice sandy beach. And then up here we've got pebbles and rocks. We've got some really nice clouds over there. It looks like there might be a gap over there where the sun can rise through. So this could light up very nicely. Or it might not. But that's the beauty. We don't actually know what's going to happen. And until it happens. So I've been here, it's uh, currently, what is it? It is currently uh, about 15, 16, about 18 minutes before sunrise. I've been here about 15 minutes already. Um, and I've actually already taken a couple of long exposure shots, two minute exposures, just using the rocks down here in the foreground. And then over in the background, we've kind of got the breakwater and then the hills, mountains, and then the clouds. So, not sure if they're going to be particularly great, but they might be nice. I'm thinking I might change the composition a bit now. One of the challenges of arriving in the dark is it's actually difficult to see the composition that you're setting up. And I think this one could be better. So I'm gonna play around with that now. Okay, so I have changed my composition because I wanna get these rocks in and the nice sky. I've actually gone for a vertical composition, portrait orientation. That lets me get these rocks in the foreground in, in a nice pattern, and some nice shapes in the sky as well. I've got a two-stop hard-edged ND grad on to hold the sky back a little bit. Okay, so okay, so change of composition then. I've come around. I'm facing away from the direction where the sun should be rising, um, but I'm going to have to recompose in a second because the sun will be coming up. A lot of rocks in the foreground, sky in the background, uh, F11, two-stop hard edge MD grad, two seconds. I think there's still room to improve. Okay, so quite a tricky setup. I've got the tripod legs in the water. I've gone back to a portrait orientation. I've got rocks kind of either side of the foreground with the waves hopefully just coming in through the middle. And then the sky 
taking up two thirds of the frame because the sky looks really nice. And now it's just going to be a case of waiting and trying to time the waves as they come in. I've actually gone to F16 for two reasons. One is these foreground rocks are actually pretty close. And the second thing is it's giving me a slightly longer exposure time to get some patterns in the water. So as these bigger waves come in, that's the time to try and get the shot of the waves breaking in between the rocks. There's some nice colours up in the cloud. Okay, that's it. It's been a beautiful morning. It's getting quite warm now, quite warm and humid. Time to head for home, get some coffee, get some breakfast, and see if I've managed to get any decent shots. But it's been a lovely morning, and I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. And if you've enjoyed this video, and you want to see more, don't forget to hit subscribe. It'll come up on the screen, one side or the other, in a few seconds. And it's also down below in the menu bar. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Likes and shares actually help me to promote this channel to get more people watching. So a thumbs up is really helpful. And sharing this video on social media is also really, really great. Comments down below. I love to read them and I love to respond. And I always respond. So that's it. I'll just say thank you very much for watching. And until the next video. Bye.